think you're going to do a power move by being taller than me? Think you're going to pull that shit on me? No. I wasn't trying that. I, I know what's up. I, I know the game now. All right. All right. That's how we're going to do it. Hello, people. All right. What's up, <laughs> Gear Mortals? Trey Xavier here. <laughs> on today's edition of Gear God's Quality Control, it's my channel now, Henning! You're nothing! I, I killed the microphone. Why do I invite these people in my home? First the Fricker, now the Xavier. It's my fault, you know, it is my fault. You have no one to blame but you. I know. I even give you my coffee. When you, uh, when you ask yourself, whose fault is it? Who do I blame? You look in the mirror and you go, that guy, that man's, there he is. Yes. It's you. Can, Standing in the ruins can, of your own life. Sorry, what's... Can I do my thing now? Yeah, I guess so. This is not Gear Gods. Not yet. <laughs> not with that attitude. <laughs> Are you franchising? Hello, Pedal Nerds! A, apparently you are on my channel. I'm so sorry, this is not Gear Gods. Well, it's semi-Gear Gods. See, Gear Gods has a semi. Um, get it? No. So... Uh, we're looking at something that is untray, but it has a tray on it. It's the me verb. Yes. Um, so I gave Trey a guitar that is not metal, and we're doing a pedal that's not metal. So we're not really doing pedal to the metal. God, it's I. I can't be funny ever. Apparently. That's just true. <laughs> but at least you can tell the truth. Das Leben ist ein Ponyhof. Das Leben ist ein Ponyhof. Yeah. The life, life, life is a horse house. Uh, a, a, a pony uh, farm. Life is a pony farm. That, um, that is true. I've been getting all these hints that Henning is possibly a brony, but um, I don't want to blow the lid off the whole uh, thing a, a until what? I'm sure. That I'm a what? A brony. What's a brony? It's a, a, a guy who is obsessed with the TV show My Little Pony. <laughs> That's a brony? Yeah, you've never heard of this? I have, why have. Why would I have heard of what a brony is? Because you are one. Okay, apparently I am a brony. You might be. So, um, not, but not to be confused with a brownie, which is just delicious. Go ahead, sorry. I think some people might be here to hear the Fender tray verb. Tra 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 verb. The tray verb. The tray verb. Don't try they, to change it. They just messed up on the Y. So, um, Leslie, if you could please block out the tray with the tray. Bye bye. There you go. Um, it's very tough to film because it's this really, really beautiful blue aluminum brushed thing. So, what this is, it looks very much to me like something that I know really well, which is the Strymon Flint. We're not gonna shush around the fact that it's very similar in idea. No shushing. But many, you, you're not even here right now. Um, Just a pedal, talking <laughs> word. <laughs> but it's, uh, it's obviously Fender's reverb and uh, tremolo idea for amps that don't have reverb and tremolo. Um, that's the idea. So uh, the fact that it looks similar in controls could be purely convergent pedal evolution. Said the pedal left. So we have uh, tone, which is uh, brightness, I guess, for the reverb. We have dwell, which is reverb decay. We have blend, which is how much reverb. There is a 63, which I guess is a uh, spring. 65, which I guess is a different kind of spring. I really don't know these things. And plate, which is what you put your food on. Apparently, it sounds different. So on the tremolo side, uh, tough to read because it's so shiny. We've got Opto, which is more of a square wave. We have Bias, which is the typical sign, maybe triangly thing. And we've got Harmonic, which is sign triangly with swooshy swooshies in them. Is that correct, Mr. Tremolo? Yeah, I think that sounds about right, Mr. Henning. Okay. Maybe we give it a shot and see. And then Depth is how much of that. And then Rage is how fast of that, uh, indicated by uh, flippy flippy light. And then Level is how loud of that. The lighties can be, if we look in the back, can be switched off, 
by the LiDAR switch off switch. And then there's also a second switch that determines whether it's tremolo into reverb or reverb into tremolo. Right now, we oh. probably want tremolo into reverb, right? I would say yes. Yeah. That's so well, we want. I think we have to try them both, to be honest. Of course. But that's a good place to start, I think. The pedal, as you can clearly see, is fully stereo, uh, but we're lazy and we're not doing that. Um, so they have, it, they are soft clickies, but they are rather hard clickies. So they're hard soft clickies, um, but they don't go click click. They go squishy soft, but not squishy. It's it's a, it's a uh, you know. You wouldn't want to snuggle with it, but it's it's not a it's not a hard hard click. Yeah, that one. No. Um, I'm on now. The pedal is on. It's more like yeah, it's going. We're going. Oh, you're good. Go yeah, keep going. Music. And uh, I love that in the back, which of course the camera can't show because right now the camera's in the wrong position. Um, the nine volt is uh, uh, chassis mounted, so not just a hole in the chassis, super nice. Um, Leslie, if you can go to the disc cam. Um, the older or the previous uh, 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 generation or previous batch of pedals had a beautiful uh, lid here that you could fold out, snap back with a spring, and the battery was in there. You could literally change your battery in seconds. They foregone that. They abandoned that for reasons that no one gets. <clears throat> so, and you can see we've got a flint, which means we will do le comparison, as they say, somewhere. And... Le comparison. Be nice, Leslie, and show a tray again. Le com... Uh, <clears throat> There was another guy in here. Yeah. Where did he go? I don't know. It is flabbergasting. I am flabbergasted. Now after 10 minutes, they will hear the pedal. <clears throat> we'll start with the reverb side. Well, let's, let's show them what the clean tone sounds like with nothing on. Do they know what the clean tone is? No, but you're going to tell them right now. Do you know, you, you, you know what your mother clean tone is? Um, I think I'm plugged into this this uh, Surf Green Tone King in the back here. Is that correct? It is the Tone King Sky King right there next to Trey. We have eight, nine cameras on, but not a single camera on the amp. So you'll see it right there it's next to Trey. Like, yeah, it's like... Yeah, and it's says Tone King Sky King on clean. It has, of course, a reverb and tremolo built in, but that's, of course, turned off. We're playing this with the Mechmal T-Classic. Uh, very original design by Mechmal. <laughs> I've never seen a guitar that looks even remotely anything like this. It's not modeled after anything by any company ever at well, all. I don't know what the T is even for. It's probably Trey. This is probably a Trey guitar. It's a Trey classic. They saw me coming. It's a Trey verb. It's a Trey guitar. It's a Trey. This is all your signature gear. It's all, it's all mine from Fender and Mac Mall. Good job, Fender and Mac Mall. Wrong answers only. <laughs> So, uh, reverb on on the 63, go. Of doing quite a bit of reverb. It's capable of doing a shit ton of reverb. Yeah. Which, uh, in general, you might not use that much on, on like your always on kind of a reverb sound. If you just want but. a little bit of ambience, it's a little bit much. But if you want to go surfy, that's of course the way to go. I like a nice, sometimes what I call the disappearing guitar, where it's so much reverb that there's almost no attack of the guitar. Mm -hmm. It's just a giant wash of noise. That's cool and fun to do. I'm distracted by the giant wasp that's over there. Let's just ignore it's not there. Let's just what? think it's not there. Henning, you could have just not told me. What about the giant wasp? It's oh, gone. He's gone. Okay, oh, good. I, you uh, didn't see me freak out. <laughs> no, not at all. Um, <clears throat> manly man. <clears throat> Beater, gristle dude. I'm not afraid of bees. It's just that, you know, it's just there. <laughs> It's gone now, it was there. So we're back in the pedals now there because producer Leslie said we suck. She's right. Yeah. She's not, she's not wrong. Yeah. So uh, the blend seems to be 
if you only want a little bit of ambience, usable in about this range, and then it just goes into way too much. So if you want to dial in a little bit of space for your guitar, but not actually reverb, then the range of the knob is questionable. That's questionable at best. Yes. So let, let, let's look at that. I'm going to do stoppy kind of things so you can really hear yeah, the reverb. Immediately there's quite a bit, actually. Yeah. I think it should be more gradual. That's a lot of reverb for being at nine o'clock. Who wants that, for much, much, that much reverb at nine in the morning? Um, so, and then here. That's a, that's a lot. That's what I would expect at full blown mix, at, at, at like 100%. So, as on the mirror image delay, it feels the ranges of the knobs. Uh, let's say questionable, or of, of a specific variety for a certain taste that might not be the average guy's perfect usability factor. I like the idea that you could have a ton of it available, but but if you can't also get just a little bit of it, then you're sort of limited to too much in a lot of ways. On this pedal, getting a little bit of reverb is more difficult. Yeah. So let's uh, look at Dwell. They don't seem that different. Turn it all the way down again. It seems about the same length. Uh, uh, this length seems the same, but it feels like it's differently springy. Let's do the same thing on the 63 and the plate. And we're on 65, you mean? Yeah, 65. We're on the, and the 65 plate. now? Yep. It's just a lot. It feels like that knob is pretty, but that's about all it does. Uh, let's go plate. Even more, it sounds like. That's longer. That's longer, it keeps going. Yeah. But once again, even all the way down, it's too much. Yeah. Let's look at tone on the plate. Gets a little bit brighter, but, but dwell and tone are ultra subtle. So yeah. on the 65, what I noticed, if you ramp up blend, because I have a hunch that maybe the 65, uh, Fender did standalone reverbs, tube standalone reverbs, mm -hmm. which means tube, at some point, you can drive it. And I heard earlier, when we cranked up the blend, that it was actually driving. So let's do that. Okay. What do you want me to do? Dig in. Sing. Very usable reverbs, but if you want a little bit of ambience, dial it in very carefully. Yeah, yeah, I think to me, the combination of a tremolo and reverb together signals that it's aimed at surf rock music. Um, yes. Which is that even like popular enough to manufacture a whole pedal for it? Apparently, because Strymon did it. Yep. And if Fender's doing it, they're not going to make a pedal. If, they, if they're not 100% sure that they're going to sell a bajillion of them, right? Um, so surf music tends to have a ton of reverb on it. So It, ma it makes sense for that specific application. And also right. Fender being the clean amp manufacturer, right. it, it, if that's the idea, well, then that makes perfect sense. Cedric the Elephant, of course, would totally buy it because look at him surfing. 
Look at him go. Yep. Um, let's look at the... Uh, we do a little bit of spring here. And let's look at the tremolos. Starting with the bias. You know, I just did an elephant thing. It didn't really look like an elephant. Maybe, maybe, maybe when you edit it, maybe we take a look at that and make sure that it doesn't look like a... Uh, well, anyway, we'll see. <laughs> maybe just mark where we're, where, what are we at? What's the time? Stamp? We'll find that. That Chancy. sounds like, what does that sound like? Sounds um, like an A minor to me. Uh, anyway. <laughs> sounds like a, um, a transition in like a 90s TV show, if you play it. <laughs> And welcome back to Cooking with the Guys. Let's uh, look at that. We have Raid, of course, for Luspide. Just a chord. Oh, you want to play chords? Oh, I, I, okay. I want to look at depth. Give me a sustained chord. Let's look at the. Let's go to Opto. Opto is more of a kind of a classic square wave thing done with Opto things. So it's like it's going to be harder yeah. chops. Like uh, yeah. let's look at the depth and, and remember what the blend did. Oh, sorry, you talk. I was I was talking. You know, in those videos when you talk, you can't play guitar at the same time. Not with that attitude. <laughs> so, <laughs> can you just give me sustained chords, please. It looks as if it kind of like jumps on and then you have a range here and then from noon to full, again, it feels as if there's almost nothing happening. So yeah. instead of being able to dial it in precisely of where you want it, it feels the range of the knob is just not linear. It's some kind of rhythmic. Yeah, it's not... Logarithmic, exponential... No, log, log, some one of those math terms. It's a math term knob. It's a math knob. Yeah. And who wants that? <laughs> nerds. Nerds. Nerds want that. Wait, 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 wait. But aren't nerds cool? Is that why they have a, a nerd, a word that's nerd though? Wouldn't they just be called cool guys and girls? I don't know how language works, but I'm pretty sure it's like that. Probably. It's uh, you want something that's versatile enough to to have some room to play with. You mean like alternative medicine? Because if it actually worked, it would be called medicine. That's a great point. It's an alternative to medicine for when you don't want to get better, but you want to spend money on nothing. Because if it actually worked, it would be called medicine. It would be called medicine. Um, so let's go through the, uh, well, we listen to Opto and Bias. I'm a big fan of the harmonic tremolo. That's always my favorite. So let's go. <laughs> I 
nice. That's a very swooshy, whooshy sound. One thing we're gonna have to check for a verdict. Okay, we're gonna have to look at the price. So, oh, and the current. 200 euro. Okay, went down a bit and more. It's a little bit more than I thought because those Fender pedals were like 120, 130, the, the first uh, batch. So this is at 199. So it's not a bargain basement kind of a pedal. Anything up to like 130 is still kind of lower range. Yeah. At 199, you're smack in the middle, the center. The build quality is ridiculously nice. Um, I'm a little bit turned off by the range of depth and blend, I gotta say. Uh, it's, it's not easily dialed in. And if blend really is meant to be for the surf people, then this is a very specific pedal for very specific people. So now we're gonna check out what the direct competitor has to offer, which clocks in at not twice as much. This is 200, the uh, Strymon Flint is 339. It's quite a bit more. Size is the same, everything's very similar. So let's look at it. So we've prepared this beautiful screen. Um, let's check out the Flint and see what it does. So we got reverb here on 60, so that's the spring. So you can see it, uh, it can give you only reverb without the dry signal in there, but even at full blend, it stays more clean. So if I go to the Treverb. So the Treverb has some grit and it's way more diffuse, it's way more mushy, muddy, which could be cool. I'm not, that's not a negative thing, it's just a different kind of sound aesthetic. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So, checking out the other reverb here, the 70s. Mm -hmm. The decay actually does something. Like quite That's a bit. an important thing for a knob to do is something. <laughs> Let's look at color. Let's look at 80s, and 80s with a lot of decay should almost be like a really cool long ambient reverb. Go. That's kind of neat. Beautiful. Uh, should we do that over here on the plate? Lots to blend. Dwell all the way up. Not, not nearly the same. Well, we already figured out that the dwell does less. Okay. By the way, I just noticed that my lady is clever as she art. She's changing the one window there. She's on the third level switchies and she's like, well, I can switch it back and forth. It's a godlike power that she's wielding. I need to now pay her way more than I'm paying her. Literally double her wages. God damn it. You don't pay her anything, do you? Well, then you can easily give double. I'll, I'll triple, double I quintuple stuff. that shit. Just giving out nothing like it's nothing. <laughs> but a lot of nothing. Whole lot of nothing. Hey, I'm giving out love. Um, that's not worth anything. Either. Not worth anything. Can't um, eat that. Uh, the Trello. Come on, let's uh, okay. yeah, let's do photo. Photo is opto. 
Wow, that's hard. Do you really want this to be demonetized? How am I supposed to feed the dogs if you're doing that? Um, and then the harmonic, here we go. Okay, so the opto or photo on the flint, the flint is a little bit warmer and more hard hitting on the cut, but they are similar. Uh, the harmonic in terms of sound quality, it's the same. I really can't tell the difference between the flint and the uh, fender, yet the flint is more consistently dialed in. I just think that in their algorithms, uh, when it comes to the delay or this, there's some mistake in the range of the knobs. There's some math line that got in there because maybe the guy was watching Big Bang Theory while he was programming and something happened. I feel that... Does, so that show does make you stupider. It's Leslie's favorite show. She's going to paint a dick on my forehead now. <laughs> She's going to wield that godlike power we were talking about earlier. Yep. Irresponsibly. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, well, I'm, I mean... Have you heard about the uh, the Hubble telescope and mm -hmm. how something was completely not working when they first put it up and they realized that one of the scientists didn't do a conversion from uh, metric to standard um, and it, a standard, whatever it's called. What do we call it? Imperial. Uh, metric to imperial or back again or something like that. Somebody that get, gets paid way more than either of us could make a mistake like that, some kind of math mistake. Obviously that has way worse consequences than just the the blend knob on something not doing what it's supposed to do, but maybe somebody made a legitimate math error and they shipped it anyways. It could happen. It would just be nice, if, you know, if someone tried in, them before in, they in R&D caught it. Yeah. And if, I'm going to say this, more people would kind of, in reviews... Say nice things. Well, say nice things. It's a nice pedal, but then you point it out and then say, well, look, hey, the infinite's going to go, hey, we need to fix that. Yeah. It is... Here's hoping. It is a pretty cool pedal. I love the build quality. Um, Fender guys are super nice. I got to say this uh, in my dealing with them. Really nice. Um, it's a beautiful color. It, I love everything about it in terms of the hardware. And the sounds are also cool in moderation when it comes to the reverb. I like the Flint more when you dial in more reverb. Um, I think the Dwell should be looked at. For having a great tremolo, especially the harmonic tremolo, and a reverb in one box, this is a good pedal. If you're willing to spend a lot more money, and who is willing to do that for a tremolo reverb combination? I mean, then the, the Flint is pricey. But I gotta honestly say that it is the better pedal here. Um, if Fender only fixed the ratios of the knobs, I actually think the Trevor up could steal the show. It, it doesn't seem like it should be that simple of a thing to fix to compete with a kind of boutique pedal uh, for a lot less money. But, you know, maybe the thing that makes the Flint so much more expensive are those uh, special kind of pots that make it usable. Oh, that that I, doesn't it, seem like it makes any sense, but I don't know. No, no, I mean, so I this, this is all digital. This is just code. It's super, it's all digital. I, it has to be. Well, yeah, but a pot still has to do a certain thing. Some of them are uh, a, okay. more tapered or something like that. Internally. Yeah, it could be. Unless they're digital pots, which I don't think they are, because then they'd probably have... You know, you'd be able to save the settings. And we literally know nothing true. about how these things. Yeah, work. I don't think we have any. Yeah, this is magic. <laughs> There's uh, some kind of <laughs> leprechauns in there. 
Uh, if you're in the market for a tremolo reverb pedal because you have an amp that is all clean and nothing else, and you want the good old Fender edition of reverb and tremolo, which a lot of classic amps had, check out the Treverb. If you're willing to spend a lot more money, check it out against the Flint. You might actually want the possibility of having this huge, kind of mushy, uh, slightly driven reverb that the Treverb can do and the Flint cannot. I think the tremolos are very, very similar. That's, I don't see any, any reason to spend the extra money there, to be honest. So if you're one of the 15 people on Earth, such as Ryan Burke, who still play surf music... <laughs> Uh, the 15 people. There's, there's two options, basically, that, uh, that we're aware of on the market that are similar designs, purpose-built for this, and uh, we just shot them out for you. So Check them out. You might already, we might have made the decision for you. I don't know. You're gonna you you make your own decision. We are not telling you anything. Uh, thanks, Fender, for sending this over. This is an unpaid video. Because as you can tell, because why would they pay me to shoot it out against something? Um, but they're leaving me the pedal, which is nice. So thank you, Fender. And um, Thanks for nothing, Fender. It, it, I didn't get anything out of this except to sleep in Henning's attic. <laughs> they're right around the corner from you. I'm pretty sure that the nice Fender people will send you one. That'll be, that'll be nice. I mean, I let them use my name on the pedal. Yeah, well, three of quarters of it anyway. They, if, they want it, if they want the Y, they got to pay. <laughs> They want the why they gotta pay. Yeah, you know what I mean. What if they want the how? <sighs> they gotta. They, then they gotta <laughs> pay the within. They way, gotta look way, within. way too hard here. <gasps> wow. And and you're gonna shoot a really really fun video about a pedal that's extremely complicated that you know zero about, right? Oh, we're gonna do a fun video. That'd be a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be on Gear Guards. Trey just stumbling around a Chase Bliss pedal. Watch that at some point whenever he's uploading that. Um, thanks, Fender. I'm going to put links below to everything, uh, even to gear guards. So, uh, if you want. Uh, I've been a gear mortal. He's a guard. You have been gear peasants. Who knows? Um, Make thanks a sacrifice to me, <laughs> and you might wake up to... A, uh, you might wake up tomorrow. Ah, oh, that one. Are you threatening people? Are you... Are you the big G? Or I'm else? Working. <laughs> no. Uh, thank you, Leslie, for being amazing. And, um, Thanks, Leslie. For animals not. at the... No, you, you say that. Animals at the end! Thank you.